Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip is the do's and don'ts of making glass ball ornaments with polymer clay. Now, the reason why I'm doing this post for you is that um, I just saw a free tutorial out on the web that um, was about making glass ball ornaments that all, almost every single step in the in the tutorial was either wrong or missing some big information. So to help you clarify what might be out there as information for making glass ball ornaments, I thought I would uh, clear that right up and, and help you make them with some success. Now, um, the basic instructions were take a glass ball, put some polymer clay on it, bake it in the oven and hang it on the tree. And I even said at the bottom, um, it's really that simple. Well, um, unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as that. And I know that through experience. Years and years ago, I used to teach a glass ball ornament uh, class where we painted on the glass balls and we actually had to bake them in the oven. I taught about 50 workshops to over like a thousand people. So anything that could have gone wrong did. And I learned a lot over those years. One of the things when you're working with um, a glass ball like this is that First of all, the glass needs to be clean. If the glass is not clean, if there's fingerprints and oil and that kind of thing, then what you're uh, putting onto the glass won't stick properly. And that's especially true for if you're painting on the glass balls, but it also is um, appropriate for polymer clay. Now, I'm, one of the things that can come up is that a lot of the glass balls that are available out there will have a clear coating on it. Now this one has the coating on it and you can't even see it. Um, it just looks like a regular clear ball. But when you go to clean it, or if there's any moisture, or you go to bake the, your piece, if the coating is still on there, what will happen is it will bubble up and, and crack and craze and cause you all kinds of problems. So what you need to do, and it's quite simple, is you need to run, run it under a hot tap, under hot tap water. And what will happen is you can, cut, hopefully Doug will be able to pick up in the camera, can you see this, these little bits of uh, cellophane type finish on there? Are they picking up? Okay, good. What, if you run this under some hot tap water, that, that cellophane type material will just start peeling off and you'll be able to clean off the glass really nicely. And um, then what you'll do is um, you will rub it down with rubbing alcohol and keep it, and then it's nice and clean. And then you can avoid touching it with your uh, fingers where you want to put the clay. Another issue that is a problem is that polymer clay and glass, I mean, if you bake a piece of polymer clay onto the glass, it's not going to be there permanently. It'll stick. Um, if your clay is sticky enough before you put it on there, it'll stick to the pea, to the ball and it will even stay on there while baking. But shortly after it's baked, uh, when it's hanging on the tree, perhaps, or after you've given it as a gift, if you haven't either glued the piece on or designed it properly, those little pieces are going to just pop right off. Um, any kind of movement, moisture, um, uh, temperature shifts, anything like that, the pieces will pop off and that will be really disappointing to you. So the way to get around that is a few things. First of all, you could just cover the whole ball with polymer clay. And there's lots of um, people that do that, cover the whole ball with polymer clay. And then if it comes disconnected from the glass, it really doesn't matter. Um, another thing, like if you're doing a design like uh, these mistletoe uh, ornaments here that I've made with an open weave kind of design, the thing that you're going to have to keep in mind is that um, if you uh, were to add something like glue or something to it to, to keep it on after it's baked, you're going to be able to see the glue through the glass from the inside and it wouldn't be very neat and tidy. So my way of getting around all those problems is to make sure that I've designed it in a way that the clay is stuck to each other and it, even if it becomes disconnected from the glass, it's not an issue. The whole piece isn't going to come apart. So that's the design part. The last part that's really important to keep in mind is you can't just take your uh, piece with the clay on it and just shove it in the oven. Glass does not like big temperature shifts. Now, clearly it can get hot. I mean, these are blown glass pieces, so they were, I mean, red hot at one point, but it doesn't like to do it quickly. So you need to start cold and end cold. 
and, and then get to your heat in a gradual way. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your finished piece. I like to hang it from the rack, um, but you, you get it in your oven when the oven is cold. You put a um, oven thermometer inside your oven. You set the temperature of your oven to what goes with your brand. So in this case, I work with Prima, so it's going to be anywhere from 265 Fahrenheit to 275 Fahrenheit. So I put it in the oven cold. I turn my oven on to 265, 275. Watch the thermometer until it gets to temperature. Then I turn on the timer for one hour. Once it's baked for that one hour, I turn off the oven and leave it alone. I can open up the door a little bit to let some heat out so that it can cool off a little quicker, but I don't want to op open it wide and I don't want to touch anything. Don't want to touch the glass when it's hot. I don't want to try to remove it when it's hot. You just leave it alone and it will be fine. Um, like I said, we've baked thousands of pieces, but if you do it too fast, if you try to put it in a preheated oven, it will crack and you will run into problems. So I hope those little tips will help you have success if you are out there trying to make some glass ball ornaments with polymer clay. If you really liked this video and it was helpful, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. We'd love that. So I will see you next time and bye for now.